we got some good news. We actually got some really good news, which also brings me to the song of the day. Song of the day is going to be by a band called the Teen Idols. The Teen Idols that goes back to 1979. It was the first band that I, Ian MacKay was in before Minor Threat. A lot of people don't know he was in a band before Minor, Minor Threat, but he was. That band was the Teen Idols. And the song that's going to be the song of the day is, uh, is uh, just their self-titled track, Teen Idols. Teen Idols, Teen Idols. Fucking bored to tears. Teen Idols, Teen Idols, waste 20 years. Teen Idols, Teen Idols, doing nothing all day. Teen Idols, Teen Idols, nothing to do anyway. Hanging out at a record shop, go to the concert, the boredom would stop. I went to the bio, they said, no, you're not 18, you can't see the show. Because they were under 18 when they were making this this raucous punk rock and roll in their garages in Washington, D.C. Little did they know that they'd start a label that would last 35 years and counting. Why is Teen Idols the song of the day, other than the fact that it's just music I enjoy? Because this is happening. And shout out to Long Beach for bringing this to my attention. Legendary punk label Discord Records puts entire catalog online for free. Punk rock label of note Discord has made their entire 40-year catalog of music available on Bandcamp for free. While free, they're hoping listeners will chip in to support the artists. Bandcamp has waived their sales fees for three months so that all the money will go to the artists. From the piece on Far Out Magazine, while the foundations of punk music have multiple different influencers, seminal Washington, D.C. punk label Discord have always had their say. The independent label, co-owned by Ian McKay and Jeff Nelson, founded the company in 1980 in order to release minor disturbance by the teen idols. From there, Discord focused on a nationwide network of underground bands and continues to spearhead the punk movement with their uncompromising approach to the music industry. Here's what Ian McKay has to say. We don't use contracts, lawyers, any of those kinds of things, says Ian McKay. We are partners. They make the music. We make the records. Nelson, echoing McKay's sentiment, added, from the beginning of this label, people have said that the way we do things is unsustainable, unrealistic, idealistic, and we were just dreaming, he said. Well, the dream is now 35 years old, so they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> and just to be clear, the catalog is free to listen to online, but if you want to download the records, you still have to pay for that. But you can stream an entire 40-year catalog from Discord Records. Am I going to stream the whole thing? Probably, yeah. At once, no, but I'm probably, I have some of the compilations, uh, but they're some of the earlier ones, the, the ones where Minor Threat's on there, Fugazi's on there. So I guess it wasn't super early because Fugazi came a little later, but it, it's early comparatively speaking because we're, we're going back about 10, 20 years at least. But that's pretty cool. And Discord Records still putting out music. Ian McKay still won't come on the show. I'm trying. <laughs> I've been trying to get him. I've been trying to get him, and um, I get responses. It's not from him. It's from uh, you know whoever manages his appearances over at Discord, and they're like, "Look, he's not doing interviews right now." Which I'm still trying, still trying, still trying to get Ian McKay to do this show. Uh, it has not happened yet, but fingers crossed. And man, I remember when I got that Teen Idols EP. So, so I got their EP. I found it at a record store. And I didn't really know what it was. I just knew that I wanted to listen to some punk rock music. And I'd heard about a band called Fugazi. And uh, the Teen Idols LP was uh, was was uh, labeled as related to Fugazi, which made sense because it was Ian McKay's first band before Minor Threat and even further back before Fugazi. But so I got the EP and I, I, I remember I put it into my portable CD player and I just remember being like, wow. I remember thinking, I didn't know music like this could be made. I didn't know music like this happened. Because this sounds like something me and my buddies can make in our garage in a good way. Like this is just blissful, beautiful young people who are in the suburbs yearning to break free, who want something more, who want to get out of their town and do something creative who want to go to the rock and roll show but they can't because they're too young who want to just who want to just be kids and have fun and run around and i could relate to it as, as a fellow kid stuck in the suburbs in the mid-atlantic region i could relate to that you you were yearning for freedom 
yearning for, man, give me a driver's license. Give me something. Give me a garage band so I can I can just strum on a distorted guitar to feel a little bit of feel a little bit better. I'm gonna skateboard in this parking lot until they kick us out because even that has a problem. You can't do that even. I can relate to these guys. And I remember hearing that music and thinking, like, man, I just found something really freaking special. And then I would play it for some of my friends, and they'd be like, I don't get it. <laughs> some of them did some of them got it a lot of them not so much but anyway shout out to discord you can find discord's entire catalog for free on bandcamp which is pretty pretty freaking cool get your news on with ron don't you want to know what's going on we're getting our news on today get your news on with ron don't you want to know Go through it together and make it our own. Get your 